what I want to talk to you guys about today is something that I was consistently saying to a student on a workshop. And that is, come on man, you got to be obvious. Be obvious. When you're walking up to a woman, you must be obvious. When you're doing the approach, be obvious. Do the thing obviously because what do you have to hide? Guys are always like, you know what, I feel creepy doing the approach. Creepiness is literally hiding your intent and a woman feeling that it's there but you just hiding behind it. It feels incredibly creepy if I was standing in front of you and you knew that I wanted to ask you for some money and I talked around it the whole time because you can feel what's underneath. So being obvious is really about you guys obviously looking at the woman, obviously moving from your intent that you have inside and being okay with the fact that that's what you obviously want to express in that moment. Men are afraid because obviousness is actually very scary because you become exposed in that moment. And my back history is when I was, you know, going through life, I had a history of being sneaky. And my sneakiness came from when I was a little kid and my little brothers used to tell me, they used to go, go in the kitchen and go get the, the snacks from the, from the uh, cabinet. And I used to go in the kitchen and I used to clap up on the um, counter and I used to get the snacks out of the thing. And I always would do things that's around what it is I wanted to do. So I would like turn on the water so my mom wouldn't hear it. And I would be rummaging through the cookies and I would actually get a cookie out or get some cookies out and take it into the room and I would come turn off the water. I give you that small back history plus, you know, me going through phases where I was like, okay, if I'm obvious in this moment, I feel like a creepy man. If I show this woman that I want to check her out, I feel creepy. And I had to go through that so much to the point where I got fucking just fed up with it. I was fed up with the fact of me not showing what I want to show from the inside. And that's everything from dealing with people to dealing with women. And you can see how obvious you are with women. And that gives you an indicator to how obvious you are in life. Because women in life are always the same. So a lot of times when a woman is reflecting back to you things you're afraid of, you have to look where else in your life are you afraid to be obvious. And obviously, obviousness is just clearly showing the desire that you have. Being see-through about whatever it is that you want to express. And it's fucking scary. It is not an easy thing to do. But I must say, it is incredibly liberating. It is so liberating to go out there in the world and express all the things you want to express. It is so liberating when you're there in front of a woman and you can say, oh my God, you look fucking great and really check her out. It's so liberating to, have, to walk down the street and look at a woman and totally check her out before you get there. It is so liberating when you're in front of a woman and you want to tell her that you like something about her or that you want to go on a date with her or that you want to take her for coffee and you just clearly say that. I want you guys to be men who are being obvious. Be obvious with your intentions. Be obvious with the things you want to express. Quit being nice. Let it go. Guys are always worrying about being so nice in the things that they do that they stop the personality from showing. And in all my videos I'll talk about being nice. Of course you can be nice. But the thing is is that stop being so nice with showing what it is that you want to show. Be obvious with what you want to show. Be obvious for the fact that you like her and check her out and be obvious. Be obvious for the fact that you think she has sexy lips. Be obvious about that. Look at her lips and look at her. Be obvious for the fact that you want to look her in the eyes and that you mean business. Be obvious with everything that you're doing and you become an obvious person. You become a person who's clearly showing who he is all the time. And that's so fucking liberating and it's so freeing because you don't have to hide behind things. Hiding behind things is what makes you feel frustrated. It what makes you go, oh my God, why do I have to live? Oh my God, when I'm in front of this woman, I feel so stressed out. You're feeling stressed out because you have things in the reserve. When you stop having things in the reserve, that's when you start becoming more your most attractive self. That's when you become see-through. That's when you become transparent. That's when you become somebody who actually can attract people to him or women to him who like him for his obviousness. There's some women out there who won't like it. They completely just won't like it. They'll find it sleazy. They'll find it to be something that's very, very rude. And that's something you're going to have to deal with. 
I'm still dealing with that now, especially in New York City, when I walk up to women and I'm being super obvious with the things that I do. They've been catcalled so many times by niggas that when I go up, they fucking think I'm just another one. So, yes, I have the resist resistance against me here, particularly stronger, but everywhere else that I go as well. Of course, I feel like it's more accepted in countries where women are much more feminine than American girls. But being obvious as a thing, you will have some women who won't like it. And the women who don't like it, you must accept before they even don't like it that some women won't. Because you will become afraid when that woman goes, oh my God, that's rude, or uh, that's creepy, or she gives you this look of why are you doing this, or why are you checking me out, and she walks off or she tells you this is too much, and you start to feel bad for what you're doing. Whatever you feel, whatever it is that you want to express, whatever intention you have, it is completely okay. And I want you to know that. It is completely okay. A guy that likes a woman is completely okay. A guy that thinks a woman is beautiful from head to toe is completely okay. And I have to learn this, man. I have to learn this myself. So you guys are not the only one in this boat because I had to go from being a man who sometimes was obvious to a man who's completely obvious. To the point now where if I'm pointing at a girl, I'll just point like this. Or if I'm in front of a girl and I like her, I'll just completely look her up and down and I don't have any hesitation in it. If I wanna go up to a girl, I'm so obvious now that sometimes I touch them, even from behind, and of course, sometimes they get scared and sometimes they don't, but I'm just so obvious now because I go on the other end of not being obvious. I'm completely obvious. And of course, I know how to fine tune because I've went to the extreme, but because I was so unobvious and I saw how that hurt me inside, I'm completely obvious. Not black and white, that's not what I'm talking about. Not being black and white, but being obvious with the things that you want to express. And clearly allowing those things to come through you. So let's think about the approach all the way to just moving the seduction forward. When you go up and do the approach, I want you to be completely obvious. When you see the woman, I want you to lock in on her. I want you to look at her from head to toe, and I want you to see what you like. Because whatever you focus on, you start to get insight. And when I focus on women, I start to get insight about them. I walked up to a girl today and I saw the glasses she, ha she had on and that was my favorite thing about her because they look really fucking cool on her. But I also saw the two tattoos on the back of her ankles when I was walking up. I want you guys to completely check the girl out. Look at her. Completely just own the fact that you want to go meet this girl. Own the fact that you like her. Really own it. Really feel your body being drawn to her. Look at her from head to toe and see what do I like about this woman. Do I like that this woman walks like this? Do I like the fact that she is uh, a woman who could be strong because in the way that she walks? Do I like the fact that she uh, dresses sexy and she has a certain look in her eyes? She has an intensity that I like. What do you really like? Start to get insight by focusing on the girl. Be obvious. When you see her, the only way you can get insight by focusing on the girl. I tell a student, I say, okay, walk up to this girl and go talk to her because the student may not be able to go do it. And as he's going, he starts to look at her and he looks away. He looks at her and he looks away. And I go, what do you like about it? And he goes, I don't know. And he looks at me and I go, stop looking at me, man. Look at the woman. That's how you know what you like. Start seeing what you like about the woman by focusing on her. Because in focusing on her, she'll give you everything that you like about her. She'll give you deeper insight than what you know right now once you focus. So from the approach, completely focus on the woman. Completely focus. Now that you focus on her, you know what it is that you like. From that place, you can now go up to her and you can tell her exactly what it is that you like in an obvious way, in the most truthful way. If you wanna know how to compliment, go to my video about complimenting, because I wanna talk about it right now, and you move from there. So let's think about the conversation. When you're being obvious in conversation, you're being obvious in the sense of, I wanna to get to know you. I wanna know what you're, what you're like more than just your looks. Be obvious about that. Don't be talking around things and trying to move to the side about the fact of that. If a girl tries to get out of that, then you keep her into that zone. I want to know who you are. And she's like, well, you know, I like doing this and I like doing this. That's not enough. Go a little bit deeper because you want to have her give more information to you by you being obvious that you want more information. Some guys will say to a girl, what do you like to do? And she goes, <clears throat> I like to go jogging. And he goes, oh, cool. And he didn't find out anything. And some, guy, some guys go, what do you like to do? And she likes, I like to go jogging. 
And you go, oh, uh, you know, you're a very motivated girl. And she's like, yeah, I'm pretty motivated. He's like, so, you know, when you're, when you're going, how far do you go? She's like, mm, a few miles. And he's like, oh, good, 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 good. Have you been jogging all of your life? Or is this something that you just, you've started doing? She's like, eh, I don't know. And he lets her off the hook. The thing is, is that once she gets you that, uh, I don't know, or, mm, well, you know, I just like hanging out with friends. It's not enough, man. It's absolutely not enough because you're not getting the thing that you want in that moment. Be obvious with the fact that you want to know more information. If a girl says to me anything like that, I go, okay, well, what does that mean? And she goes, ah, I don't know. And I go, you do. Just I'll give you a little bit of time. And I keep her in that. Because if I let her out of that, I show that I don't really care when I actually do. So when you go up, I always talk about being genuinely interested. If you're genuinely interested in a woman, show her you care every step of the way. If she tries to get out of something, pull her back into it because you really do care about getting to know her. Be obvious about that. You can even verbally say it or you can just hold silence until she says something. Now you are in conversation, you're being obvious the whole time. You've been obvious from the approach, you looked at her, you went up. You've been obvious from uh, the conversation. Now, let's talk about moving into seduction forward. Be obvious about this. This is the moment where a lot of guys, they tend to revert backwards. They tend to not be obvious because they don't, they don't know how to come across in a way where the girl, where the girl won't know that he's actually trying to take her on a date. No. Be obvious about the fact that you want to see her again, you want to take her on a date. You don't have to verbatim say that, but you want to be a man who's being obvious about wanting to take her on a date. You want to be somebody that's been clear about the fact that he wants to do that. And you may start out just trying to be clear and it becomes clunky. And it's okay, man, for you to start out in a clunky way. Any of these videos that I teach you guys or anything in any of these videos that I teach you guys, I want you to start off in a clunky way. I don't expect you to start off in perfection because I didn't even start out in perfection. I want you to start off in a clunky way. But the thing is, is that as long as you're being obvious, you can really get away with anything because it's out there the reason why you're there because women are always confused by men and when they're in front of them because men are not being obvious the whole time men are being obvious maybe from the approach or they're being obvious with the fact that they kind of want to talk to her but they're not being obvious that they want to meet her get to know things about her and move things in a, in a romantic direction a more romantic sexual direction guys are not obvious through the whole path if you can become a man who's obvious to the whole path, you'll start to get women who mirror those same things that you want. That's the beautiful thing about being honest and about being a person that's obvious and about being a person that's clear is that once you're clear with women, women can clearly give you something back. When you're being obvious with a woman, she can obviously give you something back. That is the beautiful thing about being an obvious person, about being a person who's clear about what it is uh, that they want, why it is that they're there. And that's so amazing because it cuts out time. You don't have to go through all this wasted time that you go through by being unobvious. Move the seduction forward in an obvious way. <clears throat> it's been amazing talking to you. I find that you to be a very sexy woman and you have this sense of humor that I completely love being around. Um, I think that me and you should definitely go on a date. That's one way of being obvious. Another way of being obvious is I've enjoyed talking to you. I love your, uh, your model figure. I think me and you should get a coffee. That's another way of being obvious. I want to get your number because we have to see each other again. This has been amazing meeting you. That's one way, that's another way of being obvious. You want to be obvious the whole time. And understand that it's going to be levels to this. It will be levels. You don't have to be black and white and saying that let's go to our house so we can have sex. Let's go on this date so we can move this in a direction so we can really get things going. No, but you want to start being a man who's clearly showing who he is, who's clearly showing his intentions, who's clearly showing the fact that he likes her. Show women that you like them from the moment you see her. Show her that. Show her, uh, physically with your eyes, show her that you like her. And this is the key thing, physically with your eyes. So when you see a woman that you like, physically with your eyes, lock onto her. Check her out. Allow yourself to walk up to her and with your eyes, look her into the eyes and tell her she's beautiful. Be able to obviously do the things that you need to do to be able to get the things that you want and you'll find this journey to be much more enjoyable than being a man who's so nice and so manipulative that he doesn't even know he's manipulative but so fucking around the bush type man. 
you can just be happy. This is Tony Solo from New York City, and I want you guys to subscribe below to Essence of Solo. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm out.